Spring Break Noelle was stretching while basking in the rays of sunlight shining through the window in her room. It's another lovely morning. After stretching in her pajamas, Noelle turned to the door of her room to go wake up Lelia, who was living with her. Although the two sisters were twins, they respected each other's privacy which was why Noelle knocked on the door. Lelia, it's morning already. After knocking several times, the door opened and a sleepy-eyed Lelia poked her head out through the gap. Why are you causing a ruckus first thing in the morning? It's still spring break, isn't it? I woke you up because the weather looked great. When Noelle enthusiastically replied to her, Lelia glared back with irritation clear on her face. With her drowsiness having gradually cleared up, Lelia came out of her room in a state of bed hair and started to scold Noelle. So what if the weather looks nice? What does that have to do with anything? I'm tired so let me sleep. If you don't fix that selfish habit of yours, you're going to give your sister a hard time. After facing Lelia, Noelle also started to feel bad and straightforwardly apologized. Right. Sorry about that, Lelia. If you get it, then let me go back to sleep. I stayed up quite late last night. But just as Lelia was about to return to her room, Noelle grabbed her shoulders and held Lelia with all her might. Ouch! Hey, what are you doing? When Lelia got angry at her, Noelle smiled and pointed her finger towards the kitchen. By the way, Lelia, can you tell me why you didn't wash the dishes? Since the two sisters lived in the same apartment, they evenly shared the housework between the two of them. And yesterday, Lelia was on kitchen cleanup duty. Ah. Lelia let out a gasp, realizing that she'd messed up, and this time it was Noelle's turn to go on the attack. Yesterday was Lelia's turn, right? I wonder which one of us keeps forgetting to do her duties recently. Lelia stole a glance at the kitchen before her eyes started to wander as she searched for an excuse. I, I was busy yesterday. Busy going on a date with Emil? Lelia had a gentle boyfriend called Emil. You see, it's boring to always visit museums, right? When I said that to him, he brought me to a library. He's a kind guy, but only someone with screws loose in their head would think of studying on a date. Although the dinner that we ate in a restaurant afterwards was quite luxurious. Huh. What is this? Are you showing off? Was there really a need to tell me you ate a luxurious meal? As Lelia started to complain about a meal, Noelle pointed out that she was asking for too much. Isn't it good enough that he's kind and takes things seriously? I also want a boyfriend like that. Lelia's exasperation showed up on her face. Don't lay your hands on someone else's boyfriend, Kay? More importantly, don't you have Loic? Hearing Loic's name instantly caused Noelle's cheerful morning mood to undergo a 180 turnaround. Stop mentioning that guy. Anyone but him. Why? Didn't you say you liked him before? Huh. I never said I liked him. I meant it in the sense that he was a nice friend. The two of you suit each other very well. Why don't you just go out with each other? For some reason, Lelia kept insisting on pairing Noel with Loic. But from Noel's perspective, that was out of the question. No way. Absolutely not. Please don't bring up this topic again. More importantly, hurry up and go wash the dishes. Lelia, you've been skimping on your chores way too much lately. Big sis, even you've skipped doing them before. You clearly skip them a lot more often than I do. Am I wrong? Lelia stretched her back and headed for the kitchen. Yes, whatever. I just need to clean it, right? In the first place, I didn't even use them, so why do I have a responsibility to clean up after you? You were the one who suggested that we take turns. Isn't it easier if the person who notices tidies everything up? You say that, but if that happens, I'm going to be the one who ends up doing all the work. Enough, just hurry up and get to work already. 
It was still early morning, but the twin sisters were already causing a ruckus. At that moment, they heard somebody knocking on their front door. I wonder who it is. Noelle headed to the front door as Lelia washed the dishes while voicing complaints. The one who showed himself at her door was an infamous staff member of the academy, Clement. He was a burly, muscular man who frequently used feminine gestures as he talked and acted like a woman. Good morning, both of you. Noelle continued to smile without changing her expression even though Clement winked at her with his chiseled face. Welcome, Sensei. What brings you here? I came here today because there's a small favor I'd like to ask the two of you to help me with. There's going to be exchange students coming here to study from the Halford Kingdom, so even though it's sudden, wait, what's with this place? When Clement entered the apartment, his eyes opened wide in shock. While Lelia washed the dishes, she looked at Clement and muttered, Oh, it's Sensei. Is something wrong? When Lelia nonchalantly said those words, Clement snapped out of his daze and started complaining about the room. Is something wrong? Even though there's two beautiful young ladies living here, why is this place such a mess? There were things littered all over the room. It wasn't in a terrible state, but if someone said that the people who lived here were young ladies, it'd make them want to hang their heads in shame. Noelle shamefully scratched her head. I mean, since it's a shared living space and all, we kept pushing the role of cleaning onto each other and neither of us ended up doing it which is why things ended up like this. In response to that slothful attitude, Clement angrily yelled at her. What are you going to do if you don't clean the apartment regularly? Noelle and Lelia replied to him in sync. It's fine. I keep my own room clean. Clement facebombed as if to say that these two were already too far gone. He rolled up his shirt sleeves, exposing his thick sturdy arms. Anyways, we're cleaning this place. It isn't fit for two young ladies to reside in. When the two of them replied a eh, to him in sync, Clement yelled at them again. Stop complaining. Get changed and start cleaning. That morning, the apartment where the two twins lived was very noisy, 